Hello viewers, welcome to my one or more new videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about vertical irregularity checked by the stiffness irregularity soft story and mass and the vertical geometry irregularity checks of our building model in ETABS and data extract from the ETABS and has been calculated in Excel format. First of all, we have to be um, Check that means check regularity and irregularity check is per IS 1893 part for 2016. The different criteria where the definitions of irregular building vertical irregularity in the table number 6 IS 1893 part 1 2060. Here you got and there you are scored in part 1 table number 60 that is on the page number 16. Okay, and uh, first check is the soft test soft test the stiffness irregularity check what the stiffness st 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 stiffness irregularity said is but i scored the soft test is the one in which the lateral stiffness is less than 70 percent of the story above or the less than 80 percent of the above lateral stiffness of the three story above okay here i am making the format uh, the story is irregularity check x directions and the story here the first column is the story uh, from the upper basement to roof and the second one is st steepness uh, this steepness value has been uh, written from the e tabs or you have to calculate manually and second conditions uh, second here we have using the context first condition 70 percent of the steepness of the above story that means we have using the this stiffness is the 70 percent okay here you have using 70.7 times this and from where and this we have to check on the x directions and the y directions okay the seven you can use any directions here i am using the this first conditions uh, 0.7 times k i am using this we have to have you make this format 0.7 times this and the if using the condition this value is greater than this that means the regular if k is greater than 70 percent of k it means regular if not if less than then irregular you have to make like this and copy you have to scroll down similarly you have to make the for the y direction so you have to just copy this format as here or everything is same here k is only deeper okay and how we can get the k value go to the etabs you have to be etab total has been analyzed and and design and then you have to go display story response plot here you have to be select or uh, display type story stiffness here you have to be select uh, eqx for the x directions step one you have to choose any one of them they have got they have the same value uh, you have to go and format it formatted tables here you got the value here i am copying eq in x directions okay here I am copying the x directions value. Control C. You have to go in the Excel format. Here you have to put Control V. This has been already cut with this means the okay, 0.7 time. This value, okay. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Here we have seen the story above. Okay, that means the above story have the zero. That means there's there's why zero zero point seven times above story. That means the water tank we are using we're using the roof like this. We have using the thirteenth story. Then you thirteen percent. That is zero point seven percent of above story. That means into fourteen fourteen story. And for the regularity check, we have to check the thirteenth and the fourteenth times zero point seven times. Okay, here we have checking. This value is greater than this value. Once again, uh, you have to be this value has been copied from the tabs, and this value has been calculated from the above the seventy percent of the steepness of the above story. Above story that means the roof above the roof there is nothing. That's why you are you are using the zero, zero times zero. And for the water tank, water tank, water tank is steepness, and this value is zero point seven times roof of the one above one story above. That is zero point uh, roof and similarly you have to using the 10 to a story then 10 a story steepness and 0 0.7 times 
eleventh story, one every story above, and here you can check if the ten story, ten ten story thickness is greater than uh, zero point seven times eleven story of k, that means the regular, otherwise irregular. Similarly, for the stiffness check for the y directions, what we have to do, we have to copy this format is similar, they all that is similar, and then for you go there, code, and you have, you have changed the EQX, the only EQY, all the value has been similar. Okay, you have to go the formatted here you got and copy this value. Control C again go back to the Excel format, control P paste. The January calculator has this means. Uh, this value is calculated on 0 0.0 above a story and here using a condition this value is greater than this that means regular otherwise irregular that means this value is less than 0 0.0 something is irregular is okay here all our building is regular okay second Second, second story, the mass irregularity is this. Okay, I think one value is irregular. No matters if you have all the building has been similar for the one or two story. Here I am using the 19 story, but the one story is not irregular. No matters. Okay. You try to try to make regular. If not, then okay, one story is be oh, is okay. And mass irregularity is mass irregularity will be considered to exist when the seismic load of any floor is more than 150 percent of the floor below that means if you are using the roof floor seismic weight is this then 150 percent of below story that means the one 1 1.05 times water tank 1.01 is equal to 1.5 times water tanks seismic weight Similarly, this, similarly, this you have to make like this. Uh, you have to this, and here you have to enter is equal to 1.5. This, and so you select this and press enter. And you have to copy, you have to slide like this for the all. This has been calculated similarly uh, for the whole story. Okay, and here we have using if roof story is less than 150 times water time, that means regular, otherwise irregular. Okay. Is for code and from where we have got the seismic weight. Seismic weight we have to be cal manually calculate. Here we have already calculated for the each story load has been added dead load plus live load, and you have to copy this value. We have to manually calculate this value. Control C. Control D. Here we got the value, and here all our building is regular. Lower be up lower basement is irregular due to because there is no more weight in the ground floor, that's why irregular is showing. Otherwise, all, all the stories are regular. Okay, you can understand this. And another one is vertical geometry irregular check. That means uh, the vertical geometry irregular shall be considered to exist when the horizontal displacement of the lateral force resists the systems in any story is more than 125 percent of a story below. That means the dimension horizontal dimension of the roof is less than 125 percent of below water tank water 125 times of this is less than regular otherwise irregular here I am using the whole this value we have to be calculate we have to be calculate from the ETA or AutoCAD we have to calculate how we can calculate I am saying and this value has been is equal to 1.25 percent of below story similarly we have to uh, for all we have to make the one formula and slide down all the copy the formula and for the irregular check this value is less than this that means regular otherwise irregular okay and you are going to slide like this you have to press this and slide like this and where we can got this value and similarly for the y direction you have also made this format similar format and here you can make the data this value only for each each floor level each floor level has a different different value we have to where we can go in the e tabs you have to go e tabs or you have to if your plan has been in autocad you have also go there here what we can do 
for the basement let's go to the basement okay this is our upper basement this is a horizontal dimension and the x direction that means from here from here okay from here in into in distance maximum into in distance that means here is the maximum into in distance you should not have to hit this only you have to maximum from the plan level horizontal direction this is the x and this is the y direction dimensions similarly for all the floor here i have the similar floor up to 13th floor so i am using the same value here i am using the same value for the x i am using 29.21 for the upper basement to 13th floor and uh, for y directions i am using 26.36 to to the 13th floor in the 14th floor here is varying and we have go to the 14th floor this is our x dx horizontal dimension in the x direction this is our maximum horizontal direction in the y direction similarly you have to go on the next floor here is the this is the horizontal dimension in the x direction this is the y directions okay and similarly you have to go on the row story this is the x directions and this is the y direction dimensions similarly for the all other dimensions we have got on this value like this and you have to calculate 125 percent of the below story if if this less value then is it regular otherwise irregular okay thank you for watching these videos